Hello, this is Coach Howard Snellenberger. A few years ago, some ambitious young football players began traveling to the University of Louisville with ambitious plans, plans to build a national championship football program. They shared a dream. They really believed. Since then, thousands of people have been involved in this effort. Fans, staff, but most of all, dozens of football players who have worked and worked and have finally won together with their own very special style. The vivid memories of the past few years combined with the thrills of this season have brought the ambitious hopes and dreams of years ago into clear focus. We dedicate this video to the Cardinal football players of the past and the present who have carried their community's dreams onto the football field. The 1990 football season will be remembered for its intensity, its drama, and for the hope that it generated. Thanks to the courageous players, the dream lives on, and the heart beats stronger and louder than ever before. The road to Phoenix and the Fiesta Bowl started over 2,000 miles from Louisville on September the 1st when the Cards met the Spartans of San Jose State, who would go on to win the Big West title. It was a hard-hitting defensive contest. Here's a pitch to Canley and a fumble, and Louisville's going to pick it up. And that is Ganey, Ganey, John Ganey, number 25, that gets the fumble, and Louisville has got the ball. Key plays in UofL's touchdown drive were Browning Nagel's pass to Anthony Cummings. And Curtis Lipsy's run to the San Jose State one yard line. Lipsy scored on the next play. Here they go to Lipsy, leaping towards the end zone, and he's in. Touchdown, University of Louisville. The Cardinals have scored for the first time in the 1990 season. That is Lipsy that gets the call to go in and score the touchdown to give Louisville a six to nothing lead. It was an incredible finish. The Cards blocked not one, but two close end field goal attempts to end the game. How about that? How about it? Louisville blocks it again. And Howard Stellenberger and the Louisville Cardinals have escaped death twice. Final score, Louisville 10, San Jose State 10. The first home game of the 1990 season against Murray State featured UofL's high-powered passing attack. Second down and back into the air is Browning Nagel. Good protection out of the flat. Pass is complete to Ralph Dawkins. Inside the 20 to the 15, down to the 10-yard line before he is finally brought down by Shelton Burris. Here goes Nagel, third down and nine into the end zone, and it is a complete pass and a touchdown. Jeff Brom entered the game and continued UofL's bombs away attack. Rene Kuto made this sensational catch of a perfectly thrown Browning Nagel pass. Here's the pass into the end zone, and it is caught. <laughs> Ralph Dawkins ran for daylight on this 16-yard run. Here goes the pitch to Dawkins, and Dawkins will get down inside the 10. He's still on his feet, and he's in the end zone. UofL rolled to one of its most lopsided wins ever, 68 to nothing.
The Kansas Jayhawks was the next team to invade Cardinal Stadium and fell victim to the Cards aerial game. The cards also get it on the ground. There they go to the pitch, and that's Dawkins. He's into the end zone, a touchdown for Louisville. Joey Smith's punt return set up another Louisville touchdown. Around midfield, it is taken down, and this is Joey Smith. And Smith breaks free. He might go all the way. He's knocked out of bounds. Short of the goal line. And here is the pitch. And that's Dawkins in there for the touchdown. The Cards control the ball on the ground for the final 10 minutes of the game. Final score, Louisville 28 to 16. Next, the Cards invaded Mountaineer Stadium, intent on revenge for last season's heartbreaking loss in the closing moments of the game. Klaus Wilmsmeyer's punting and place kicking won it for the Cards. All right, Klaus Wilmsmeyer, a booming kick. Standing back at his end zone, he's gonna drive the ball all the way down to the end zone. How about that punt by Klaus Wilmsmeyer? Here's Wilmsmeyer, another high one. And they're going to let it hit, and Louisville has it down. They don't have the three-yard line or four-yard line. I think they're going to mark it. The defense was awesome. Joey Smith stands deep. Herzog's punt is blocked by Louisville. Jeff Brom guided the cards to an early field goal. After two more Wellsmeyer field goals, the cards hung tough for a 9-7 victory. Regardless of how it was won, for us to come into uh, Morgantown against the West Virginia team that I thought was their best team that they played uh, this year, but to come in here in front of the 61,000, 62,000 people who were starving for them to do well and to uh, overcome it and bring home a win means that our football team has taken that next step uh, to the level that now we can rest assured and know that we can play with the very best. The Cards fell behind early to the Southern Miss Golden Eagles at Hattiesburg. Trailing 22 to nothing at the half, they mounted a furious comeback. zone for the first time and Nagel slipping going over the middle complete touchdown out here complete to Dawkins for the first down and a lot more inside the Southern Mississippi 20 yard line they mark it at the 19 second and eight 
They go running for the end zone. He's in. Touchdown Louisville with 7.35 in the game. Despite a big statistical edge, the Cards suffered their only defeat of the season. Final score, Southern Miss 25-13. in the friendly confines of Cardinal Stadium, Ralph Dawkins led the Cards to victory against Tulsa. Over the middle to Cummings, and he's gonna go all the way. That touchdown pass from Browning Nagel to Anthony Cummings was followed by another touchdown pass to Ken McKay. Latrell Ware put the finishing touches on a big U of L win. Pops it right in the secondary, and he's off to the races. What a great feeling that is. Final score: Louisville 38 to 14. Against the Memphis State Tigers, the Cards got on the scoreboard on their first possession. Wilmsmeyer's punts kept the Tigers bottled up. Ralph Dawkins had a big day running the football. The game went down to the wire with Memphis State attempting a game-winning field goal with a minute 30 left in the game. A 30-yard attempt by the freshman, Joe Allison, to put Memphis State into the lead. It's blocked! It's blocked and picked up by Buchanan. Ray Buchanan. Final score, Louisville 19-17. Joey Smith got the cards off and running against the Pitt Panthers with a 40-yard punt return. Klaus Wilmsmeyer split the uprights from 51 yards out. It's good, and so Klaus Wilmsmeyer, who got all the points against West Virginia in that victory, puts Louisville onto the scoreboard first. Browning Nagel had a big day passing to his tight end, Ken McKay. Curtis Lipsy scores a touchdown. On the ground, Lipsy goes almost untouched into the end zone. Touchdown, Louisville. Curtis Lipsy scores his fourth touchdown of the year, his second rushing touchdown of the season. And you can hear a chorus of boos around Pitt Stadium and a chorus of cheers from the red and white across the way from the Louisville fans. John Ganey's interception set up Curtis Lipsy's second touchdown run. He's into the end zone, touchdown, Curtis Lipsy, his second score of the day, both on short runs. Another Nagel to McKay aerial results in a touchdown. Final score, Louisville 27, Pitt 20. The Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky were the nationally ranked card's next victim. Campbell throws to Green, and he coughs it up, and it is picked up by McFadden. And McFadden goes into the end zone. 
Reggie Johnson makes the hit. McFadden scoops it up, and the defense scores. The roar of the crowd out of the crunch zone. That is the crunch zone down in this end zone at the back of Western Kentucky. They can't hear. And I'll go back and huddle up again. Well, how many times you see that in Cardinal Stadium, sports fans? <laughs> I'll tell you, where the, where the fans make so much noise the offense can't hear. Of course, it's down the closed end, and boy, they love their defense down here. They certainly get up. They get to cheering, get to hooping and hollering, and the defense just eggs them on all the more. So that's what this crutch zone is all about. You take a look at the top of your screen. This is the Cardinal Crutch Zone Baby. effect. 4-0-3 in the first half, 17-7 Louisville over Western Kentucky. Jeff Brom for Broomfield. Complete. Louisville's passing attack netted over 350 yards. They go on third and last goes for it all to Jones, complete. Here's the pass to Ware, wide open. Montreal Ware. Final score, Louisville 41 to seven. Thousands of Cardinal fans made the trip to Cincinnati to watch Anthony Cummings enjoy a record-breaking afternoon. They go on third down. All the time in the world goes for it all to Cummings' touchdown. Brown to the end zone. It's caught by Cummings, his second touchdown catch of the afternoon. Dawkins in the flat, but he decides to go boom right there to the slant play, right there to AC. A.C. hauls it in for his third TD reception of the afternoon, putting the Cardinals up on top, 21 to 10. That guy likes it. The coach tells us not to look like we've never been in there before, and uh, I've been in there before, so uh, it's no big thing to me. I just score them when I get them. Nagel for Cummings. That's a new record. He's looking for Cummings. Yeah! <laughs> it's been a dream season for the Louisville Cardinals in 1990. And in the final home game of the 1990 season, Cardinal fans bid farewell to a team that exceeded preseason expectations. A sold out Cardinal Stadium salutes their best team in two decades. And the Eagles of Boston College flew in looking to upset 22nd ranked Louisville. With several bowls courting the cards, it was no time to let down as the football tradition of Boston College clashed with the new kids on the block. The 1990 Cards became only the third team in school history to win nine games with a season-ending thriller with Boston College. A heads-up play by Ricky McFadden gave the Cards the ball in great field position. Nagel, avoiding the rush like I haven't seen him do it all year. He's down inside the 10. Nagel scrambled for six and then hit Cummings for the touchdown.
four interceptions did in the Eagles. Accepted by Mark Sander, he might make the end zone. Foley goes for the end zone. He took a look. They got this ball can bounce off a helmet. We've all seen that happen, but right there, John Ganey comes up with a big, big interception. You know, something's going on down here. I've never seen. The defensive line is running up to the crunch zone to thank them for all their help during this season. There's no doubt about it, 1990 was filled with big plays. But no group of players had any bigger plays or harder hits than the defense. to the Fiesta Bowl to meet the Alabama Crimson Tide. Season tickets are available for the upcoming exciting 1991 Cardinal football season. Call 588-5151 for ticket information. Be a part of it. Don't you miss a single play. Assure your seats now for the Tennessee and Florida State games as big-time college football returns to Cardinal Stadium. Order your tickets now for the best seating available. Don't wait. Call 588-5151 for ticket information. That's exciting UofL Cardinal football. Be there.